Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Chelsea J and welcome back to a new video. First things first, let's address this hair. This is a product of a blowout, silk press gone wrong. Tried a new hairdresser person to where I am at and it just didn't work out. Second of all, let me close this dresser. If you are a new subscriber, hey, welcome to the gang gang. If you're an only but goody, hey, boo, what it do? Welcome back to another one of my favorite types of videos, which of course is a empties. Y'all, we use so much stuff, so let's jump into it and talk about it. Sorry if y'all hear that background noise. I don't know what my husband is doing. First things first, we use a Febreze Small Spaces. This is the Honey Berry Hula Scent. Y'all, these work so perfect in like a bathroom space. Um, because for me, the little Glade plugins wasn't even doing it in my bathroom. So I started using these and let me just tell you, I love it. It's wonderful. Yeah, definitely 10 out of 10. We'll repurchase again. I can't really smell the scent on the little, oh yes, I can't scratch thing anymore. And if I had to describe it, I would say it's the perfect scent between clean and sweet. And I also use these in my car. Like I just threw one in my car. Next up, we have a Dove Calming Oat Milk and Rice. This to me is a nice comforting scent. Like I was saying, this is the Dove Oat Milk and oatmeal and rice milk this is like their newer scents this is very calming to me and i love using this at night time if i had to describe the scent of it i would say it's just what it says you smell oat oatmeal and would i repurchase this again definitely yes but y'all i have so much body washing that i just need to get through some stay tuned i don't know if that will be first or this will be first but i will be doing a um uh i have already filmed it actually a body shower wash gel video y'all i have so much product that i have to use and if you don't know sas is coming up and i really don't have room to buy nothing but we're gonna talk about that when we get into more of the bath and body works products next up we have two of the dove antibacterial bar soaps y'all know this is my holy grail i love using this for under my armpits under my breasts my butt but you guys we're going to probably stop seeing these because i've decided that i want to start back using i want to use the um the shower gel version of it i don't know dub just do it for me every time i want to do the body wash version of it like how it smells in the body wash and we're going to give it a go and if that fails then you know we back to our bar soap next up we have a thera breath in rainforest mint my husband used this up he repurchases this flavor all the time to me this flavor is just a little too watery so yeah we also went through a colgate total um whole mouth health fresh mint stripe in the gel y'all will be seeing us go through a lot of these because i bought like a five or six pack from bj's and we're going to use those up speaking of toothpaste let me know down below if you have ever used sensodyne my mom uses it she likes it i'm thinking about getting some but i don't know once again in this household we love dove this is the dove deep moisture this is like the original and y'all this is just so fresh so clean i always repurchase these this is also very 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 soothing um i was doing some research when i came back from jamaica um for like sunburn purposes and trying to figure out like what's the best body washes is best body washes let me slow down for sunburn in this dove deep moisture was definitely on the list <sighs> excuse the background noise y'all my husband just decided in the middle of the day he wants to clean the carpet downstairs i don't know if y'all are here or not but if you do let's just work through it i'm gonna try to talk loud and over it next up i have these glade marshmallow ice cream um plugins with the notes of toasted marshmallow and uh, irish cream i bought these from bj's as well they're limited edition and they did what it had to do in my downstairs area with the candle that i had at the time 
I would probably, if I were to see these again in like the fall and the winter, I would pick them up. But it's just not giving a spring scent to me. My husband went through a degree ultra clear dry fresh spray. 72 hours this works for him this is what he likes um it's just a clean manly smell if you know you know i went through a warm and cozy lotion of soft vanilla toasted coconut and passion fruit i think this was in my project use it up i'm not sure but this is not warm and cozy to me this is cozy soft pretty when you want to smell sweet going to bed with your man that's what i get out of this scent um so i did use that up i need to figure out this in my project use it up <clears throat> next up we have a candle we have goose creeks carnival red wait carnival candied apple and does it have the notes no, but this is how much I burnt it down. And I stopped because the wicks were kind of moving. And so I was just like, all right, that's it. Because I just don't be having time. When the wicks started moving and it was getting closer and closer to the glass, I started getting scared. So, yeah. And, you know, I have more than enough candles where I don't have to, like, burn it all the way down to the ground. If that makes sense. Next, I had a little sample of Rose Argan Body Conditioner from Lush. Used it all up because I forgot about these samples and one had went bad. That's what it looks like in the inside. I have actually owned a big bottle or tub of this before. And I used to repurchase it, but now it's just something I don't because I just have so much product. Next up, y'all know we have the Brazil Nut Body Butter from Trader Joe's. And this just came back out. But your girl really doesn't have to get any more because I have like six of them from last year. This is a holy grail. I will always use this as long as they offer it. As long as the formula stays the same because this just smells good with everything. And it's also one of those body creams that I can use all over my body and I don't have to worry about it irritating me because if you don't know, I get irritated in the chest a lot. Um, this has notes of, it says a delightfully salted caramel and pistachio scent and that's exactly what I get. But you know, it's definitely, look at me, a holy grail. It's nice, it's thick, it's fluffy. I mean, part of me wanna go, wants to go and tell my mom to pick me up some more of these which i need to call her because i asked her to pick me up some body washes and i haven't heard anything back about that yet part of me wants to go tell her to pick up more of these but y'all I, I probably really don't need more because i probably could just take a break and use other body creams as my first layer and then just save those um i don't know we, we gonna see because if i go home between now and then i'm stopping at trader joe's and I'm definitely gonna get me some stuff. Um, cause I just can't help it. <laughs> we also have a Dove Original Bar Soap. Y'all know the deal with this. I like to use this on my chest area because it's nice, it's moisturizing, and it just smells good to me. It doesn't have too much of a scent, so it kinda goes with anything. I think we already talked about the toothpaste, but evidently I put the box in there too. This is probably the new box to the one um, that we're currently using. Next up, we have these Grin Tongue Cleaners. I like these because I think they are more hygienic than um, like a regular tongue scraper, you know. Um, but my husband doesn't like them because he says that they don't reach far enough back for him. I don't have that problem because I just go back there and don't think too much into it. But yeah, I just go back there and I do what needs to be done. I definitely probably will repurchase these or do I have another do I have another I don't know if I have another one of these or not but if not these are a definite repurchase because I just think they're more hygienic next up we have the Naturium Nature Naturium however y'all say it the Soother Sensitive Skin Body Wash y'all holy grail like once I get through a lot of these other body washes, <laughs> these girls right here, like the line in general is going to be like my staple along with Dove, along with like Native. Um, This says it gently cleanses, soothes, and calms irritated or sensitized skin, fragrance free. And that's exactly what it does. Um, I actually miss this. So I actually want to pick up another one. But like I said, I just have so much stuff to get through that I've been trying to like 
stop myself from buying repeats but this is that girl for me like yeah um, I also used that when I had sunburn in addition to the Dove. And let me tell you, this did not, like, burn the sunburn areas. It did what it said it was supposed to do. So, love that for me. Another Dove Original Bar Soap. No need to go over that. Here we have this Soap and Glory handful. Y'all, I had this for so long. Um, I love Soap and Glory products. I had this for so long. I think that it basically stopped having that fresh like original soap and glory smell of the rose and bergamot definitely will always repurchase these when i see them and i need a hand lotion like i said this is the hand food but i don't need any more hand lotions because your girl has like a bunch of hand creams from bath and body works that i need to get through not too many but enough to wear I don't need to repurchase this right now, but this is definitely a good product. It definitely did make my hands soft, and it just also gave my hands that fresh, clean smell, and I loved it. Next up, a new product that I tried was the Clean Skin Club Uncommon. Oh, well, it just says Uncommon Skincare Creations. These are like the biodegradable clean towels. And I most definitely purchased two big boxes of these because these just work so much better for me when washing my face than a washcloth. Y'all know washcloths harbor a lot of bacteria. And at first I thought these were kind of like a waste of money. Um, but I will say I like them. These were like really thick. My only complaint with this one was they were too small. But when I ordered my newer boxes, they actually come in an extra large size. So they are much bigger. And yeah, if you are hesitant to like make the jump into the bigger boxes, I would definitely suggest buying these boxes. But just know only 25 comes in this box. So if you wash your face two times a day and it's yeah just know if you wash your face two times a day this box isn't gonna last you that long and i wash my face two times a day next up we have a raspberry jam donut and the shower gel from bath and body works the scent notes were wild raspberry jam powdered sugar warm fluffy donut i hoarded this scent y'all um and to me out of the bottle it smells really really good but then when I use it in the shower, it just did not smell the same. And I was just like, let me hurry up and use it up. So while we are on the topic of shower gels um, and SAS is coming up, this is one product that I will not be purchasing. And that is shower gels because, believe it or not, y'all, sometimes these dry me out. Like, I really just use these for scent, not to cleanse my body because this ain't cleansing nothing. Let's be real. But if I'm not careful... And I don't use this with a very hydrated or moisturizing body wash before. These are going to like tear my skin up. Um, As far as this scent, I know this is a lot of people's holy grail. And I did enjoy it. I did like it. Um, But because I liked it and I enjoyed it so much, I was like, let me use it. From now on, I am not going to hoard products I like or enjoy. I am just going to use it. And if I have used them by the time that SAS comes around, then guess what? let's go ahead and pick it up snatch it up because what i realized is i'm hoarding a lot of scents not using them and then it gets time for sas and i truly don't know if i like them enough to get multiple backups and that's the thing in itself because i'm trying not to buy so many backups but we might have to talk about that in another video but yeah that's raspberry jam donut by bath and body works Next up, we have these little Glade plugins, Sky and Sea Salt. This is like my holy grail. I always grab these because it just has your whole house smelling nice, fresh, and clean. Next up, we have Oral B Super Floss. This is really good if you have teeth that are close together, and which in my case I do because I have braces and I have permanent retainers at the top and the bottom. And so it's like a little piece of thread, and you kind of just thread it between your teeth. And I feel like they do get into spaces that sometimes regular floss might not be able to get into. So this is always a repurchase for me. 
Next up, we have Thera Breath in the Invigorating Icy Mint. This is the version that I use. This is always going to be repurchased because to me, this is the closest thing to like the Listerine burning sensation. I don't know. I'm weird. I like that. Next up, we have a hand soap and fresh getaway. This is a bright yuzu citrus and fresh ocean air. This is a nice, fresh, clean citrusy scent. Smells so good. If I could find this again in a soap, I would buy it. Speaking of soaps for SAS, we'll be purchasing soaps because y'all, we go through a crazy amount of soaps, even though it's only two of us, like per month. We do like minimum two, sometimes more. So we 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 need some soaps. And I think I'm down to like 10 or 11. So yeah. Next up, my husband had another degree ultra clear fresh. I think sometimes he just be leaving these things around the house and I catch them when they're empty and put them in the bag. Or maybe he really did go through two in one month because y'all, he be spraying kind of heavy, which is nothing bad or wrong with that. Next up, we have the Bath and Body Works Antibacterial Hand Wipes. I think this was my last one of these, and I heard they don't sell them anymore. But I love these. They came in really clutch, especially when I was, like, eating my lunch in the car or even at restaurants. And I just wanted to, like, actually wipe my hands instead of using hand sanitizer. These are really clutch. So, yeah, this was just the Champagne Toast scent. And I don't like Champagne Toast and body care. Like, I just don't care for it personally. I feel like it's so overdone. But in the hand wipes, it was really good. On that same theme, I did use a Pure Wonder hand sanitizer. Won't be buying a lot of hand sanitizers at SAS because I have a lot from last SAS, winter SAS maybe, that I need to use. Use up before they expire because they do expire. And next up, we have a Good Molecules 1% retin retinol night oil. Y'all, this isn't used up but it's in my bathroom and this is something new that i'm trying and honestly i kind of fell off on it so i have to tell y'all more when i actually use it y'all this <laughs> this is the dove dry spray and apple and white tea and y'all this is, smells so good it's like a clean apple smell and let me just tell you dove um dry body sprays are starting to be my holy grail I do have a few of the secret ones, and I'm just realizing that, like, nothing is holding up to my girl Dove. So, yeah, 10 out of 10. Would recommend repurchasing this again. As for me, I know a lot of people are going into the more natural deodorants. They don't work for me. The only natural deodorant that works for me is the Native Powder and Cotton or whatever it's called. And it's only good for nighttime. So, I'm going to take my chances, unfortunately next up i went through a lot of candles we have a one wick candle um vanilla pumpkin marshmallow as far as candles from bath and body works you guys this was a good candle but i had it in the bathroom and i felt like it did project but it's just not a good bathroom scent i don't know what i was thinking i think i just grabbed a candle and put it in the bathroom um yeah, it's just not a good bathroom scent, but the candle itself was good. As far as candles for SAS, probably going to buy some candles, but I want more fresh, fruity, bright, summery because I have a whole lot of winter and fall, and I really don't know how I'm about to get through those scents. We have another hand soap in Vanilla Cloud. Um, This was just a nice, basic vanilla scent. I decided to go ahead and use this because I knew that this might be one of the scents that's like comes back or whatever. And so, yeah. Y'all, also while we're here, I did find out that the Bath & Body Works outlet, like the true outlet that I went to in my area is closed. So, y'all are getting a lot of money, a lot of money from me from SAS because... Mm -mm. Next up, we have a product that I actually did finish, but it was the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I didn't like this product for myself. I felt like every time I used it, um, let me just show y'all how it, thick it is. But I felt like every time I used it, my face would break out and I'm just like, nah. Um, I had this for a while and I was just never gravitating towards of it. So I got rid of it. I am in the process of, if I'm not gravitating towards it, I'm not getting it. 
Next up, we have the Give Comfort um, candle from Bath & Body Works. Peach on Earth, Fresh Peach, Sweet Cinnamon, Frosted Vanilla. We went through, forgive like the little, I be trimming my wigs and throwing it in here. We went through a period where I stay of where it was still cold enough to um, burn like heavier scents. So I burnt that. I love anything with peach in it. So to me, that smells good. Another product that I just could not force myself to use is this Curel Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer. I don't know. Maybe I was using it wrong. Maybe whatever. I don't know. But every time I use this, it made my skin itch. And talking about it right now is making my skin itch. Like, you're supposed to apply it to your wet skin. And it says no need to rinse off. Just towel dry. And I did not like it that way. It was making me itch. And then even when I used it and rinsed off, it was making me itch. I kept this in my shower for a very, very long time. And I did not use it. And so I said, I'm never going to use this. I'm never going to reach for it. All right, let's get rid of it. So that's what I did. I wouldn't recommend it, but I know a lot of people that love it. Next up, we have the Restoring Coconut and Cocoa Butters in Dove. Primarily, my husband uses, but I did help him use some of it. And this is actually a very comforting scent, a scent that I like. Very heavy on the cocoa butter more than the coconut. So, if you are not a cocoa butter lover, wouldn't suggest that. Next up, we have a Vanilla Buttercream um, Hand Cream from Bath & Body Works. I was able to finish that up. This is a nice gourmand, heavy cake smelling. Um, exactly what it says, Vanilla Buttercream. I kept that on my side dresser at night. My husband used up a The Body Shop Tea Tree Night Lotion. He loves this stuff. I am very weary of tea tree stuff because, like, it dries my skin out, but it actually works well for his. Um, and like I said, this is from the body shop, and he was using this, I think, as his night lotion. Um, he said it really, really worked on, like, if you have a husband that, like, has to shave weekly, like mine does. It was really helping with, like, his uh, shave bumps, so next up we have another one with candle this is a sun drenched linen this um is like the greatest candle well not the greatest but one of the greatest candles i love to burn this candle in my bathroom because it is a nice clean smell and i also burnt this one day when i was doing laundry in my laundry room and that was pretty good as well so yeah all right we just have another dove original bar soap then we have this baby right here. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Charosa 62 with the pistachio and salsa caramel. Chef's Kisses. This goes perfect with that Brazil nut body butter that I showed you guys. And honestly, that is what I finished using this up with. I was very hesitant to use this up, but I know that I have a mini of this scent. I bought like a little travel set and I know that this scent is like always around and y'all i'm just in the mood to use your juice like if i know i can potentially get it again your girl is going to use it okay so just keep that in mind if it's something that you know that you could get again potentially um you haven't heard of anybody talking about them getting rid of it or like especially with bath and body works you just notice they repeatedly are bringing it back use that product because girl what speaking of bath and body works i did use this scent magnolia charm y'all about to hate me for this this is dewy pear blossom blooming magnolia fresh cedar um i know a lot of y'all this y'all favorite scent but let me tell you your girl was sick of this scent like it took me forever to use it like i cut this and it ended up being cut and open for a while and i just i don't know it was all right would i repurchase it again definitely not and last but not least, I also used up this Fenty Skin Fat Water. This was like the um, Pour Refining Toner Serum. And I love this. I like this. It um, makes my face feel really nice and soft. And it really, to me, does not have a scent to it. Oh, shoot. Does not have a scent to it. So, I went ahead and repurchased this. So, yeah. After looking back on things, I really did not use that much product. 
from Bath and Body Works as I thought. But let me tell you what I think happened. Because I know I finished the lotion to this. What I think happened is, like, I use certain stuff quicker than I use other things. So, what I really think happened is a lot of the stuff is split up. Because I can't really remember what's in my previous empties videos. But, nonetheless, I'm still getting product moved out. So, that is definitely making me happy. So, let me know down in the comments below what you are doing to get your products moved out. And until the next empties video, I will see y'all next time. Peace.